So you're, you've been married for 36 years. 36 years. Wow. Okay, and how did you meet your husband? So, um, funny story, I was uh, away at college, mm -hmm. and while I was away, he moved to the area that I, my family, I was born and raised, and my family all lived there. And so, um, they happened to all go, he attended the church that my family mm -hmm. attends and um, which I grew up in. And uh, one day my mom called me and she said, I saw a young man playing ball on the field and I want you to meet him. And at the same time, he went into the high school I graduated from, went into, he was friends with the principal. And he said, Wayne, I just can't find anybody to date. And Wayne said, well, I'll tell you somebody, Cindy, Bullwinkle was my maiden name. Cute. And he said, he showed him my picture. So before we had ever met, we had already been pretty much put together. Anyway, came back home and went to the singles group. And six months later, we were married. Six months, wow. Yes, 19 years old, met him when I was 19. We married, I had just turned 20. And um, yeah, 36 incredible years. Incredible so years, yeah. Now, has it always been a desire in your heart to have children? Oh yeah. When I was four years old, one of my first memories, I was pushing a little baby doll stroller with my baby doll in it. And I had this incredible desire to nurture. And that just continued to grow and grow. Because Mac and I had only known each other six months when we got married and his wisdom he said let's take some time to really get to know each other before we start trying to have children um, it gosh it was probably a year and a half into our marriage i found out i was pregnant and we were ecstatic of course uh, even though we weren't trying and Unfortunately, that one ended in a miscarriage. And we found out probably nine months later that I was pregnant again, and also ended in a miscarriage. So that, there was some fear in that. Like I would always wanted to be a mama and a wife. And because I had experienced two miscarriages, that just kind of fueled that desire. And um, I remember sitting down with the Lord one day and just crying my eyes out and just so I, really fearful that I would never get to be a mama. And I just, he softly in my spirit, I felt he said to me, Cindy, I put that desire in your heart and it's a pure desire. It's a good thing. Psalms 127 says that children are God's best gift in the message. I love that version. And I just like, Lord, I, I want all your gifts. I want a bunch of children. And he said, I'm going to take care of it. I will provide, but you've got to trust me. And I would get up from that time and I would be like, okay, I can go on. I know you're gonna give me a child one day. I don't know if it's gonna be biological. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's gonna be uh, through adoption or fostering, mm -hmm. but I know, cause you, he just, the peace would come over me. And I, I just believe that truth. Um, let's see, we were married four years and I got pregnant with Brandon, our first, and had, uh, nine and a half pound baby boy. Ooh. Yeah, he was a big one. And today he is a Christian artist who is truly changing the world for Christ. And that was the beginning of our story and our first. Um, after that, we had to endure going through four more miscarriages. And I remember the doctor sitting down with us one day 
And he said, you know, I, we don't know why you're having all these miscarriages. So we just recommend you put trying to get pregnant on hold. And we feel like you need to start the testing process. And so we left his office, got in the car, and we were a one income family. And we knew we did not have the money to start all those testing. And, and it was testing just to eliminate things, yeah. not even to fig be able to go straight to what was wrong. And so we just knew that we did not have the financial means to do that. And it just so happened that in that time, Mac was preaching through the book of Joshua. And he was in the third chapter. And it was where Joshua was leading the Israelites to the, their promised land, to their land. And they came upon the Jordan River and they couldn't pass. And so Joshua said, okay, I want us, we're gonna stop. We're gonna ask God to forgive us of all of our sins, cleanse us and ask for a miracle. God, would you provide a way that we can go through the river? And that's what happened. And Joshua said that when, when you get in the middle of the river, I want you to pick up a stone. Because when we get on the other side of this, we're going to build a monument to represent God's faithfulness. And so it just so happened I got pregnant again. That very week we found out I was pregnant. And Max said, shared with the congregation, will you please pray with us? that we will be able to carry this child. And whether it's a girl or a boy, we are gonna, uh, we're gonna name him Jordan or her Jordan after the Jordan River to just tell the story that God is faithful. He is faithful. And so sure enough, eight and a half months later, we had our Jordan and he is the most compassionate, tender-hearted just lover of people and crazy hilarious. And um, he's just been the greatest gift. And I remember sitting holding him when I, he was six months old and I was rocking him. And I said, God, you have been so good to us. You have blessed us with these two perfect boys. But your word says to ask. And so I'm gonna ask if you would give us a little girl. And not only that, I want her to have curly hair, a lot of curly hair. Sure enough, 10 months later, I had our Brianna and she had tons of curly hair. <laughs> so God was so faithful. There were just so many days of deep hurt and, and really desperation. I, I was desperate. But yet God always changed my heart in that time that I would just pour my heart out to him and he'd just say, hey, I put those desires in your heart. I will provide, but you've got to trust me. And sure enough, he has given us more than we could ever imagine. And now we have five grandchildren who we get to daily be a part of their lives. So God has been crazy faithful and through other struggles in life. Because of our journey through missing, uh, having miscarriages, I can stand firmly on, I know God's faithful. He will get us through this. It might look totally different than what we expected, but He is faithful.